hey welcome back and in today's video it's the rep reports and today in the rep reports uh holly brown's new channel uh we're gonna take a look at uh the drama between chase ross and aaron and sweeney uh tumblr after the ban and uh more <laughs> i couldn't find my mug over on the repzilla twitter Hey Rep, I hope you're having a wonderful holiday and a new year. I am, I hope you are too. I'm sure you are 100% aware and I'm not sure if it's any news, but this is an update on Holly Brown. She has created a new channel instead of keeping her old channel mentioned in your previous video. I'm unsure if this would be any news, but if you plan on doing an update on her in the future, here's the link to her video. Very good job, my fellow Rep Squadion. <laughs> an update it is. I it's it looks like in my last video i said to her as advice don't delete your channel you know you've worked really hard on this channel it's it showcases you growing up the mistakes that you've made in the past which are not uh very terrible and if anything your audience can see that you've grown from it keep the channel but she did not take that advice and she has created a new channel let's check it out this is her new channel it's only got 16,000 subscribers, and this is her attempt at starting a new. So if you guys are Holly Brown fans and you want to give her a second chance, I'll link this in the description below. Let's see what her about me says. It says, this channel focuses on art and crafts that make me happy, so I don't go insane. I really like that. Uh, her intro video is as follows. Well, I mostly make art videos and new videos come out every Monday and Friday. I've been on YouTube for a long time, and I had a channel before this one, and I acted like a real asshat, and I sort of grew up on that channel. And since growing from that experience, I decided to start fresh and completely remake a new channel from scratch. I really wanted to make a new channel that's an actual force of positivity, because for years, I've been a pretty negative person. And I, I would always do things like, oh, well, I don't want to be like them. They're fake. They're fake happy. When the reality of it is, I was miserable and I was projecting my negative thoughts onto them when they were probably genuinely happy. So I want to... So it looks like she's trying to start a new positive thing. And I think that's really admirable. I really uh, like the new approach she's doing. Uh, I don't think that she should just abandon her old channel. She worked so hard on it. There's a lot of subscribers. And if anything, she should probably upload there uh, at least once a month to let everyone know that she does have a new channel. Or she should take that channel and repurpose it. But what do you guys think? Let me know. Hopefully she watches this video and reads some of the comments below. Also in the news. There was some controversy about Chase Ross's apology being that he uploaded it to Google Docs and it could be edited. In fact, he did edit it. He said apology has been updated. The edit made December 23rd in 2018 at 5.34 p.m. I'm adding this beginning part to this apology. I want to take as much accountability as possible and I'm trying to uh, my best to learn from my mistakes. Not finding the best words first time around is not a reflection of how I sincerely feel. He says, I'm sorry I hurt you. I am sorry I did things that were abusive. I am sorry I would talk over you. I am sorry I did not create a safe space for you to talk to me. And he goes on to say that he is just generally sorry. But there was anger in the community because he even did this on Google Docs and that it could always be updated. And I think uh, he wanted, to me it seems like a big chess move because he he heard and read all the comments about, oh, this is Google Docs, this is awful. And then so... Uh, my mind thinks that well he'll make an edit to show and show people that he'll put the date and time to make them think that he would be doing this every time it's edited i don't know why but it seems like i don't try to judge here but it does seem like there's always an agenda with chase ross but uh going over on aaron and sweeney's twitter it looks like his last couple tweets have not been anything about the drama. So I'm thinking that he's moving on from it or choosing not to be a part of it no longer. So I'm thinking that this drama is probably coming into an end. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Am I missing anything? Also in the news. <laughs> Tumblr after the ban. It looks like everyone is uh, unbanning Tumblr. Indonesia lifts ban on Tumblr saying... 
Indonesia's Ministry of Communications and Information Technology was considering unblocking Tumblr, which has been banned since March as it failed to comply with strict anti-pornography rules, and the ministry has officially unblocked Tumblr on Monday afternoon. The move was carried out after Tumblr announced globally to rid its platform of pornographic content. And if you've been watching, we have been covering this and we've watched Apple let them back into the App Store. Other places are unbanning them. It does seem like because of uh, their strategic move to block NSFW content, it has in fact allowed them more traffic to the site. Another article talks about where Tumblr actually tipped them off of a man that, that was possessing child pornography. And I've seen a lot of other articles about this where Tumblr, because it had all the NSFW content on it, it was uh, kind of a way that they could keep an eye on these communities where now they cannot. So there were some pros and cons of actually having that NSFW content as now we don't know where these uh, predators have went, but I'm interested in knowing what you guys think and feel about this. And will you still be using Tumblr or have you moved on to something else? Also in the news. So I was asked what I thought about the feud that was ongoing with Deji versus KSI. And my opinion is, as you can see, the social blade is obviously Deji. And I do want to point out that she, he was making uh, a lot of videos uh, about his brother KSI. And he just kept making these videos. And KSI was asking him if he could stop making the videos and please take this off public and as I was watching this I was noticing that KSI wasn't making videos about Deji or mostly saying anything about Deji so it really did seem to me that Deji was uh, doing this for clicks and views because it was making his channel grow and as you can see here on uh, Tuesday 2018 he lost 6,000 subscribers over 6,000 subscribers then on Wednesday another over 6,000 and then even today he's losing more and the reason that I feel like he's losing these because he keeps making videos about his brother his most recent one is Deji reacts to KSI and Deji videos so it's still got KSI in the title it has uh, 10,000 dislikes the video before that was uh, an apology video What's up guys, it's Deji. So, I hope you guys had a lovely Christmas. I hope you guys got all the presents you wanted and everything. I also want to say I'm really, really sorry for for yesterday. What, what I did, it was quite selfish of me. I was, uh, my beef with my brother kind of got out of hand. And I know I upset a lot of you guys with uh, this whole beef and, I, and I'm telling you right now, I'm so sorry. So, uh, the video he's talking about he deleted was one where he was talking obviously about personal things that went on between him and his brother now this video doesn't have ksi in the title but we know he's talking about ksi so we're gonna watch it, it has 34 thousand dislikes uh the video before that hat does isn't about ksi only has 619 thousand views the video before that has ksi's name in the title does have 1.8 million uh and this trends any video that has ksi in the title has millions of views and the otherwise it does not so my opinion is he is doing it for the views and clicks and i cannot agree or be with the uh, deji on on this if i had to pick sides i would have to go with ksi but i don't i don't, I don't watch either one of them that's my opinion as was asked but as always, I'm more interested in what you think about this. So why don't you go ahead and leave your creative under interesting responses in the comment box below. Thumbs up, thumbs like. As always, brothers and sisters, I will see you in the next video. Uh, me, me and my own brother, we, we've been in many fights. I, I'm to the point where I don't agree with my own brother and what he does. Um, but I love my brother. But if, if, he, if, if he wasn't my brother, I wouldn't be friends with him. <laughs> Cause he's not the type of person I would hang out with. He is like the direct opposite of me, which is crazy. Now I've been trying to like get him and take him under my wing and try to make, get him to make a YouTube channel. So I can, you know, cause I haven't been in his life that much cause I'm always working. But uh, I think it would be cool if you guys would in the comment section, 
support him and tell him to make a YouTube channel. His name's Devin, and it would be cool because he it would be like he's we're like twins. We look the same. I'm just taller. So, yeah. I know that you're ripping your ripping your Greg and how do you become a member of the Red Squad? All you do is subscribe and notifications turned on. Be in the comment section to every single video because I'm gonna be there. Greg the Cat's gonna be there in the rest of the Red Squad community as well. And I expect to see you there too, because this channel loves you.